Hello guys, welcome to Pro Evolution Soccer 2014 and I'm actually playing these maxed out completely with no problems just some simple drops and cutscenes that doesn't seem to be smooth it seems to be like 30 FPS's even the fraps reporting 60 it feels the game is running at 30 on the, the cutscenes but only in the cutscenes uh, the rest of the gameplay is very playable I'm playing with the latest patch of course and the game feels nice, so I'm not here to compare FIFA with uh, Pro Evolution Soccer, but I leave you with a little bit of new gameplay, and of course, if you want to skip to the results, just press the red square, alright? So, see you in the results, or in the end of the the game, alright? It's Portugal versus England, so this is gonna be tough. Thanks a lot for watching. Carrick quickly closed down. Cleverly. The ball played down the middle. A crucial intervention there. João Moutinho. Lescott with the crucial intervention. Bruno Alves. Chance to counter attack here. It's played through. Rooney's got it. The flag stays down. Well, look, you don't need me to tell you that if your first touch is a, a little bit sloppy, then you're not going to make too much progress. And I think he knew exactly that. I'm, I'm sure he'll get it right next time. And suddenly the defense is on the back foot. Milner. He takes him out. Miguel Veloso. Milner, going forward, Milner, foul there, no question about it, the referee shows him the yellow card, didn't go for the ball, just took the player out, might consider himself a tad lucky not to see red. Well you can justify a foul if it's a decent and honest attempt to get the ball, but that was totally unnecessary. João Moutinho. Now through to Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's got possession now. Maybe a chance. The whistle goes to signify half time. I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. It's nil nil at this point. And we're hoping for better things. So the second half kicks off. Glenn Johnson. Is making a sortie down the touchline. Restarts with a throw in. Fabio Cointrao takes advantage of a poor pass. The ball crossed the line. Here's Welbeck. El de Postiga. Welbeck can't hurt you with his back to go. And I think if they could keep him facing in that direction, then the only thing he could do really is to just lay the ball off. And, and he's not really going to cause much trouble if he continues doing that. So I think they're defending him very, very well. Miguel Veloso will drive this corner in. And crosses. João Pereira has got hold of. Neatly played. Great through ball over the top. Portugal. Lucky to get away with it this time. Lescott is there to intercept. And Ashley Cole.
now a chance for a cross from the flank. Ashley Cole tried to make the pass, but found that he couldn't. Miguel Veloso. Long ball forward. He's waiting here. Now seeking to get that ball in. Some hopeful faces waiting in the middle. Cleared away to safety. Raul Morales. João Moutinho. And he goes for goal. Gerard. The forward push gains momentum. Glenn Johnson. Miguel Veloso. I think they're building the play really nicely. If they can just find the right through ball, they could be in on goal. The ball's with Elder Postiga. Yeah, the defence had him exactly where they wanted him there. Didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser issue. And the ball back to the goalkeeper. Bruno Alves. Time whistle within sight. Final whistle has gone, and we are heading into extra time. Well, despite the scoreline, this one hasn't felt like a nil-nil to me. It's really ebbed and flowed and thoroughly enjoyable. There's the whistle for the end of normal time, and the managers now have a five-minute window for an impromptu team talk before extra time. Glenn Johnson. He did well to get it. What next? He wants to get a cross in from here. And he's there to clear it. Pepe. Bruno Alves. Milner. The ball's with Defoe. Bruno Alves. Gerard. Raul Morales. The referee has blown the whistle and we're at the midway point of extra time. Yeah, it's still goalless, but will it be a refereeing decision? A mistake or a moment of magic now that makes all the difference? The last opportunity. And I have to say, most of the players out there are close to exhaustion. Has anyone got anything left to grab a winner? The teams have just 15 minutes now to find a breakthrough. Ashley Young. Defoe's got it. Wolcott shoots! Oh, so close! Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time it would have sneaked in. That will encourage another try, though. Nani, a long ball forward. Gerard knocks it forward. João Moutinho. Nani. Raul Morales. And Nani. Needs a good cross. And they get it away. So the final whistle has gone and still. Nothing between these sides, it's going to go down to penalties. Well, it's hard to believe we didn't get a goal in that 120 minutes because it was a lot better than nil-nil. 
But we're going to get a couple now in this penalty shootout. So nothing could separate the two sides after extra time, so the game goes into a penalty shootout now, where I think Lady Luck can play a major part. Calmly, precisely, he puts the ball down. Everyone in the stadium holding their breath. Now this is real pressure. The first taker can play such a vital role. It's crucially gets them off to a good start in the shootout. He has missed the first penalty. He's one of the very best penalty takers in the business. Will he show why and beat the keeper yet again? Goalkeeper didn't have a chance. No problem for the keeper. Oh, that was right down the keeper's throat. It was an easy save to make in the end. Putting this penalty away for a two-goal lead would give them a real psychological boost. He saved it, amazing. He sends the keeper the wrong way. Oh, the keeper's been completely wrong-footed there. Superb strike. He put it high over the bar. Well, that looked like a rush of blood to the head for me. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. Into the left side. He's put it to the right side. Well, he's filled the keeper with that one and sent him the wrong way. Great penalty. Oh, brilliant stop. That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. He places it on the spot, steps back, pauses, looks fairly relaxed, but his heart must be beating like crazy. Will we finally see some heroics from this keeper? Time's running out. He really needs to save this one. The kick decided the game. A horrible way to lose, and one that's more down to luck than anything else. The keeper will be disappointed he wasn't able to save his team from defeat. Well, look, I think they showed terrific spirit, but in the end, they just failed to keep their nerve in the shootout. And thanks to co-presenter Jim Beglin, that brings to a close. So this is the results of the frame rate. I have uh, I had a little drop in the beginning of the game. I I think it was holding yet, and so that drop appears. But uh, if you are not... Uh, uh, so enthusiastic with this, you won't feel a thing during all the gameplay. It's always 60 locks and it's completely smooth. How about other things? VRAM, completely low as expectable for a football game, soccer game. RAM usage, <laughs> very few too. Let's see now CPU usage and GPU, GPU first. GPU usage so during the game it's uh, 13 to 27 percent. It's uh, to to have at 60 FPS. It's very very nice. It's not that demanding, but the cutscenes are quite demanding. CPU usage very well too. Doesn't seem to need a very tough CPU to run. And that's all, guys. I really want to show about Revolution Soccer. It was a very complicated game anyway. But uh, well, like again, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe, like it if you are if you want to have more benchmarks. So see you later.